Hi guys, happy Thursday. My name is Hilary LeMay. I am an essential oil educator with doTERRA International. Thank you so much for spending part of your Thursday night with me. It is Throat Out Thursday, our cleanest night of the week, and there is so much to talk about and so many fun things to do tonight that I wanted to just jump in. Hello, thank you guys so much. If you are new to Periscope, um, this is just an awesome place where we all get together every Thursday night and talk about wellness, and I help you learn tips and tricks on how to use your essential oils that you have, and if you don't have any let me know and I'd love to get you started. You can uh, swipe to the right or swipe up if you'd like to share this broadcast with your friends and followers. Thank you so much. I would love for you to do that and share this message. You can also tap the bottom of the screen as you see the hearts going up um, and that just shows me love that you like what we're doing, you like this information and that you find it valuable. So um, if you are like us, you love hosting family and friends and company, whether it's summertime or over the holidays, anytime, it really doesn't matter. But we love um, kind of running our own little bed and breakfast at Chateau LeMay and um, sharing meals and having late night talks and making memories with our friends and family. And so we just um, love having company over. And my brother and sister and my sister's new little baby girl are going to be visiting us in uh, about two weeks. And we're really excited. And so that totally inspired me to share with you guys some little things that you can do to make your guests feel at home and my brother and sister are oilers they love this lifestyle too but it's a great way to create a comfortable environment for company while kicking chemicals to the curb like we do and uh, it's also a great way to introduce essential oils to friends and family that might not be familiar with them it's a great way to kind of introduce them and share them in fun simple ways so tonight um, we are going to be adding to our essential cleaners that we've done in the past and and we're going to be making a toilet cleaner fizzy recipe. So think about the dishwasher pods, but for your toilet. So they're going to be kicking those nasty bleach cleaner pads and all that stuff to the curb. We don't need any of that. And then we're going to set up a DIY diffuser station to uh, introduce oils easily to your friends and family that might be visiting and give them some great options morning, noon, and night. And then we are going to make some DIY mints uh, without the artificial sweeteners or any of that nasty stuff. And actually that recipe is in the Essential Life book if you guys want to follow along. It is on page uh, 395 in this lovely behemoth book. And I will upload the recipes into my Facebook learning group as well as on my Instagram uh, later later tonight after we wrap. But um, so before we start, first of all, has anyone ever had a problem trying to find a pillow that is comfortable for them? Because we're talking about guests and all that. and a lot of times Olivia and I or George we will travel with our pillows because it's hard to find a pillow that fits us and the other day I was thinking you know what they should really invent like Netflix for pillows right so you can kind of like try one out and see if it's right for you and if you like it you keep it and then if you don't like it you can send it back until you find the right pillow for you I mean wouldn't that be amazing we could call it like pillow flicks or something like that I don't know I just thought it sounded cool but then, you know how my mind works, I started thinking about germs and, okay, well, if this pillow has been used by somebody else and then sent back, is that creepy or not? But anyway, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, and then also before we start with my recipes, I wanted to show you something I posted on Instagram earlier. I got a bunch of these awesome diffusers for kids. These are so freaking adorable. This is the Rosie, the little piggy. Um, and then there's Lulu, the little ducky. So adorable. And... Let's see, there is Jax. He is the frog. Adorable, adorable. And then Mimi, the kitty cat, meow. And what's really neat about this one is it diffuses the mist from both of the ears, and then uh, the, frog delete, uh, the frog diffuses from both of the eyes as well. It's really neat, yeah. These are gonna be great. I'm gonna be sharing these with my oil team. I'm gonna be sharing these as promotions in July for all of my new oilers. So if you are out there and you have not gotten your essential oils started yet, let me know. My information is in my Periscope profile page and I would love to share this essential life with you. So definitely reach out. Let's connect on Facebook if we're not already friends and I would love to plug you into my groups over there. So our first recipe is going to be our toilet cleaner fizzies. So we're gonna get our supplies going. And for these, we're gonna use some things that you're familiar with. Uh, we're gonna use our good old Wilton Brownie Bites pan that is going to be really helpful for molding them really well. And then we're just going to start with two cups of baking soda, and this is just good old baking soda, nothing fancy. And we're gonna add 2 thirds cup of citric acid to that, and it's gonna fizz up and get nice and clean. 
Uh, and then we're just gonna mix this up really quickly. These recipes are so easy. Olivia helped me with uh, with making these when we were testing them out, and they're. really fun the cleaner fizzies oh no something's going on with the connection hopefully it won't continue doing that but we're making toilet fizzies and so this is just two cups of baking soda two-thirds cup of citric acid and then we're gonna add our essential oils now I'm just gonna use my favorites these are lemon and eucalyptus you can use these anytime you clean your toilet so if you clean your toilet once a week clean them use them once a week if you clean your toilet twice a week do them as often as you clean your toilet and so we're going to add 10 drops of each of our essential oils, so this is lemon. And I just really like this combo. I feel like it's very fresh and cleansing, but it's just totally up to you. 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of each. It's just totally your preference. Any citrus oil is going to cleanse, and um, I love eucalyptus. I think it smells really fresh too. 9, 10. And then we are going to mix this up. This is the easiest recipe in the world. So, so, so simple. And then we're going to add about two tablespoons of water. I am not too exact on it, but if you want to be, you can be. I'm just going to eyeball it. One, two, and it's going to fizz up like that. And you know it's the reaction is working. Now you can, if you're not, if you don't want to do that, you can just use a spray bottle. I just have like a little water spritzer bottle that I keep handy for recipes like this. But you're just going to get it into like a wet sand texture, just like we do the dishwasher pots. I hope you guys are having a great night. I love our Thursday night parties on Periscope. So much fun getting to pour out all these tips and tricks for wellness living with you guys and help you use your oils. Because there's no point in having essential oils if you're just going to let them sit in your cabinet and not use them and enjoy them. So it's a really fun way to kick the chemicals to the curb because um, most people use those Clorox cleanup things where you like stick the pad on the, you know, on the little um, stand and then you kind of like go around your toilet bowl and that has bleach and it's just nasty and it's really, it's just not cool. So when you are at the texture where we want it to be like a nice wet sand just like our dishwasher pods you're just going to put this mixture out into your silicone mold and you can use an ice cube tray but I would really recommend that you do not use a plastic ice cube tray use silicone because you're gonna want the pliability of being able to kinda bend it to get the pods out otherwise they're gonna break and you're gonna be disappointed so I've done trial and error and uh, what has worked for me more than anything is doing the, my necklace keeps flying away from me, uh, doing this way with a silicone mold. And so you can get your hands in there, get messy, just fill it up, fill up all these pods with the mixture. And then when you're done, we're gonna spray them with our water to kind of set them. And then just like the pods, you're gonna let this sit overnight. And for me, it works overnight, but depending on the humidity of your climate, um, or the dryness of your climate that might be different so you can experiment with it but definitely don't muss and fuss with it uh, unless it's been you know at least I would say at least probably 12 hours you can test it out maybe you know let it go in the morning do it like at night and then wake up and it'll be done or do it in the morning uh, before work and then before bed you can test them out but you see how you just kind of take a spoon and you can get in here with your hands my daughter loves doing this with me she is a dishwasher pod and toilet fizzy pod expert and these just make great gifts, make a great housewarming gift if you bundle these up with some of your other ingredients like your all-purpose cleaners, your glass cleaners, whatever you have. They make really great gifts and it's really affordable. And again, it's a great way if, if uh, folks that you're talking to maybe are a little bit uncertain about using essential oils either like for ingestion or topically, you can help them use oils to minimize their toxic load from the cleaning supply standpoint because no matter who you are, I don't know anyone that says, yeah, I really like cleaning with bleach. It smells great. Um, you know, I love breathing in toxic chemicals. Like, I don't know anybody that says that. So anyway, but you're just gonna get this to the point where it's all level and this is, as you can see, it's really the perfect amount that's gonna yield uh, a full pan's worth of these little toilet fizzies. All right. Okay, so we are there. And then what we're gonna do is just spritz these once. Again, this is just with our little water spritzer and we're just gonna spritz these lightly. And that's it, we made toilet fizzies. Ta-da! So easy, so easy! And you let those sit and when they're done, 
they look like your little pods. And you can put them in a glass container, you can give them in like a mason jar or something, they're really pretty and they're sturdy. And you just put one of these in your toilet bowl and let it fizz all the way until it dissolves and then you're gonna let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes while you do maybe you clean the mirrors and you clean the floor and you clean the other areas of your bathroom go ahead and let it sit and then you're just gonna put it in your toilet bowl and it's gonna fizz up and it's gonna take a little bit of a time you know and what's gonna happen is it's going to be helping soften any of the calcium deposits that you have in your toilet especially if you're having guests and you don't use your guest bathroom that often then you might have some pink uh, uh, you know calcium deposits on the inside of your toilet bowl and so what you're gonna do is let this dissolve all the way and then you let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes while you either clean another room or clean your bathroom and then you'll come back and you can flush the toilet and it'll grab all those calcium deposits and any stains you might have and any bacteria because it's got the lemon and eucalyptus it's gonna do that for you and then after that and see it happened pretty fast it's still dissolving there but it's gonna be working and pulling all that um, grime out of your toilet bowl and after that's done then it'll be softened up for you nicely and you'll be able to um, take a washcloth or whatever you use to clean and you can spray it down in the inside of the toilet bowl with your all-purpose cleaner or use your on guard cleaner concentrate and just wipe it down to get any last bit so that is a great recipe to um, to make and th what's really important is and the whole purpose of this recipe is you want to have a clean home no this recipe is not in the book but I'm gonna share the recipes on Instagram and in the Facebook group so don't you worry you will have the recipe for sure Devin uh, but the point of this recipe is that we want to facilitate a clean home for our guests our guests do not want to come to our home and open the toilet bowl and they're in your guest room and see pink or brown rings and dirt in your toilet bowl that's just not uh, it's just not nice. You don't want to do that and you're not going to feel comfortable in someone's home if it's not clean and you know it's just the way it is. We all want to come to a clean place. We try to keep our own home clean and you want to be courteous to your guests and spend the time cleaning to make sure that they feel comfortable and you know welcomed in your home with a clean home. So the first thing is making sure your home is clean and ready for company. So that's the recipe. Toilet bowl fizzies, super easy and fun. Add them to your recipe list with all the other dishwasher pods and all the other fun things that we've done. All right, I'm gonna put these down. Out of my way. My necklace keeps wanting to get away from me. And then our next recipe is going to be doing our DIY diffuser bar. And this is really fun because what happens a lot of times is especially people that are not familiar with essential oils they might feel intimidated if you have a diffuser and they don't know what to do with it so what I've done is set up a little DIY diffuser bar and you can have extra water so that if your diffuser is finished its cycle um, before the morning because I like to go in the morning into the guest room and make the bed for my company and just kind of freshen up the room so um, you can have extra water so that they can refill the diffuser if either it stops in the middle of the night and they wake up to go to the bathroom or they just want to turn it on in the morning and then a lot of the diffusers will come with these little measuring spouts and this is uh, a little receptacle and you can fill that with water and then what I've done is I've ha I have three little bottles here. This is Chateau LeMay. This is Mar, our kind of family signature diffuser blend. This is peppermint, lemon, and eucalyptus. We love to diffuse this in the morning and during the day. So this is for the morning. And then for the afternoon, we always diffuse the Anthropology blend, with his, which is grapefruit, white fur, and citrus bliss. And then at nighttime, we like to diffuse our Sweet Dreams blend, which is cedarwood, balance, and wild orange. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to pre-blend each of these blends so that your company does not have to mess with bottles and spill them and you know they might not understand how to use them and they might feel intimidated by that and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine those oils and all your guest has to do is just take a couple drops of the oil and put it into the diffuser and they will be ready yes so you're gonna mix them already and that way you're not fumbling with bottles and so what I also do is have a little sheet that says you know lift the lift the lid to fill it and then pour water up to the red dot and then put the top back on after you've put a couple drops of oil in and just press mist and so you can give them a little bit of directions it's great for kids too when they're learning so what we're gonna do for our first blend I'm just gonna move this front here a little bit our first blend is the Chateau LeMay blend and this is just peppermint lemon and eucalyptus 
yeah, it's so much easier than fiddling with all these different bottles. And so what I'm gonna do is just take off the reducer just by gripping it onto the little threads in the lid. And I'm gonna use this as my little stand. Yeah, and then this is peppermint. And again, we're just gonna loosen the top by grabbing onto the little threads and pulling that off. And eucalyptus. And this is a nice little oil hack too. You can do this for your kids' bedrooms if you wanna help teach them how to do this um, and if you don't want them messing with tons of bottles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pipette, which are just these little plastic um, dropper thingies. This is making me nervous, so I'm gonna move it back. <laughs> um, so here we have lemon, and I'm just gonna take a pipette full of lemon, because this is plenty for you know someone's stay for a couple days. So we're just gonna put this in here, lemon, and then we are going to do, let's see, let's put the top back on so I don't get them confused. Here we go with lemon. And then we are going to do peppermint the same way. Just grab one pipette's worth full of peppermint. All right. And then we are going to grab one pipette's full of eucalyptus. It's just a great way for you to make it more convenient for your company. Boom. And that's plenty for a couple days worth of diffusing for sure. I think I just my fingers, but you get the idea. So this is really great because then you can just pop the diffuser open. Boom. You can drop your dropper. One, two, three, four, five. You can do about five drops. I'd say that's good. And then you just put the lid on and you're good to go. And these are morning, noon, and night blends. So yeah, you need a clean pipette after each one. So you're definitely going to want to do that. Um, and I'm not going to go through all three because I don't want to take up a, you know, a ton of time tonight, but I'm basically just trying to explain that you can make these pre-made. So whatever blends that you like to go to as your morning blend or your afternoon blend or your night blend, just make them already and then put them by your bedside, even if you don't have company, just for you to enjoy. Um, but this is going to be a really great way for you to streamline using oils for your guest room and then you're not going to have tons of bottles all over the place because if you had laid out, you know, three of these oils, so you've got peppermint, lemon, and lavender, or eucalyptus, peppermint, and lemon for this blend, and then you have three more oils here and three more oils here. It's very confusing for somebody, especially people that are not into essential oils yet, or they might feel intimidated by this, or they're new oilers. So it's just, again, it is just like a life hack. I'm going to add this to my list of my next 10 life hacks for you guys to do, but instead of shuffling with bottles all, all day and all night for your company, or risking them maybe using way too much, or the bottles leak out everywhere, it's just a great way for you to facilitate your guests feeling comfortable. So again, the anthropology blend is our favorite. I used to, I uh, love to diffuse this in my workspace and this is just um, citrus bliss, white fur and grapefruit. And then the nighttime sweet dreams blend that George and I like. Um, I do this on my side of the bed. George has his own blend that he really likes, but this is cedarwood, wild orange and balance. And so you can just have these pre-made and it's super easy to give these as gifts um, or you can let your guests make their own combinations. And I'll talk about that in a little bit because at the end I'm going to show you a little gift basket idea that you can do to also help folks. And one more thing before we stop, uh, before we talk about our next recipe, if you don't have an extra diffuser hanging around the house, that's totally fine. What you can do is also find these plug-in oil diffusers. Um, my husband loves, he loves wild orange and cedarwood, but he likes rosemary and eucalyptus and rose, uh, rosemary and eucalyptus as well. So um, he just likes those oils and they also help with snoring. So he snores. So um, rosemary and eucalyptus are great too for opening up the respiratory airway. So if you don't have an extra diffuser or if you have like four or five um, guests coming in several rooms being utilized and you can't um, put diffusers in every room, that's totally fine. What you can do is find these cool little plug-in diffusers. You can find them at the vitamin shop or on Amazon. And this this is um, just, you know, a scent ball. So they have scent pads and the scent doesn't last as long, but you can refill it every day if you want. The little pads are right here. And what you do is you just drop the oil onto the pads and you plug these into the wall. So instead of your um, toxic chemical filled, it's a little bright, those toxic chemical filled plugins with um, synthetics and all that, you can just use a little plug-in ball. And then the other one is kind of square. This is spa room. I believe you might be able to find these at Bed Bath & Beyond, but definitely the Vitamin Shop or Amazon. And again, they have little scent pads in there and you just drop the oil into the middle and then you can plug it into the wall. So it's really handy dandy. And there we go. You can see that a little bit easier 
really handy dandy. So you can put these in kids' rooms. Uh, you can put these in the guest room if you have several guest rooms and you just don't have the ability to get extra diffusers right now. But they have to change the pad each time. No, you don't have to change the pad each time. You can definitely reuse the pad for sure. All right, so then our third recipe is we are gonna make DIY breath mints. I'm really excited for these. Let me just get my stuff out of the way and make room for our next recipe. All right, so this is a recipe that's in the Essential Life book. Um, no, they don't have night lights. I've not found a diffuser plug-in little one like that with a night light. So if you find one, please let me know because I totally want it. Um, we love having a night light in the hallway. So when Olivia gets up in the middle of the night to go potty, she has a lighted path. So please do let me know my um, information. My contact information is in my Periscope profile page. So please do let me know that. So for the recipe for DIY mints, um, we are going to take a handful of, like an egg shape full, I guess, of gum paste. Now this you can find in the baking aisle at Michael's or the craft store, and um, it's in the fondant section. So it's just confectioner sugar and water, and um, it's just like a paste that you can make, like flowers or anything. Uh, it's like a sugar paste, and you can either find it already paste like, you know, in this kind of Play-Doh texture like fondant, or you can find it in powder and you just add water to it and um, you just kind of knead it and, and you uh, roll it out. So we're gonna just take about an egg shape. This was, like I said, just an egg shape, uh, about a handful of gum paste, and it's just sugar paste. And what we're gonna do is put six drops of cinnamon onto the paste. Now, you can use peppermint or wild orange or whatever you might like, um, spearmint, anything that you like. So we're just gonna add six drops, like three on the top. One, two, three, and then three on the bottom. One, two, three. And these are gonna be like your own DIY Altoids. Oh, we cut out. Hi guys. Okay, looks like we're freezing a little bit. All right, so we just did six drops of cinnamon bark essential oil, three on each side of the paste. Oh no, something's going on with the connection. Hopefully it comes back. All right, so then what we're gonna do is just kind of dust this with a little bit of powdered sugar. And there you are. <laughs> Something is going on with the connection in Periscope World tonight. So we just took a handful of gum paste and we added six drops of cinnamon bark essential oil and we dusted it with a little bit of confectioner sugar and then we're rolling it out with a rolling pin. And we're gonna make our own mints. These are gonna be just like Altoids. All right, I hope you guys are having an awesome night. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is just take a funnel and you are going to poke up, you're going to like a punch a hole in the gum paste and you're gonna punch it out with a straw or whatever device you have. And we are gonna make these little mints. Isn't that adorable? They look like little hearts. Tap the screen for hearts if you like those hearts. <laughs> and we're just gonna keep doing this. There we go. All right. Little hearts, so cute. And these are gonna taste like yummy cinnamon. And we're just gonna keep punching these through. Aren't these cute? These little cinnamon hearts. They're just like our own little Altoids. And you're gonna keep punching these through until your dough is done. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to just roll these in powdered sugar. And you can put them on a little plate. Put these on a little plate after you roll them in powdered sugar. And you're gonna let those dry for about two days. So they harden and they get to be like a nice Altoid, like really hardened like that. And um, I'm just gonna wipe my hands for a second and show you the finished product. So you're just gonna punch these all out until your dough is done. And you can just use a funnel or whatever you like that has like a little hole. And then I like stainless steel straw to punch out the, uh, the little dough. And so once you finish doing that, then you are going to put them all in a beautiful tin. And if you have a metal, no, all right. But so you can just take a little tin and put all of the mints in the cute. You can get these at the craft store for a couple bucks for like a lot. 
you can get a really big set of these. And these are just like little Altoid mints and they're heart shaped. Mmm. It tastes like cinnamon. It's sweet. And it's just sugar paste. That's it. So there's no xylitol or no any like any of that stuff. But these are so tasty and you can leave these on the bed of your guest room for your company to enjoy and freshen their breath and it's a really cute way to show them how versatile and fun essential oils can be and you can use any shape tin you have. You can use a little shape tin like this, um, like this and like I said in case we cut out and you guys couldn't see it. Um, oh yay! Awesome! Hi! <laughs> so yeah, we just took the gum paste and we dusted it with powdered sugar and then we punched out the little holes for our mints and then we let them, we're going to let them dry for probably two days to let them fully harden and then you just put them in a cool little metal tin and you can put these on the bed of your guest room. So before we get cut out again, uh, I just wanted to show you one last thing. This is a great way to also share essential oils with your company. You can make a really nice gift basket of things for them to use while they're visiting with you. And so something that I like to have on hand is an extra family physician kit because what they can do is experiment with this. It is really bright, wow. Okay, <laughs> they can experiment with this and play with the oils while they're visiting and use, um, you can just send me a um, friend request on Facebook and I'll add you to the group. So. This is a family physician kit and it explains all the uses for each of the 10 oils. These are the top 10 oils that doTERRA has. And so what's great is having an extra one of these um, on hand so you can let your company explore and they can fill the diffuser themselves with whatever they like. You can also give them an intro kit with them if they really are loving the oils and having fun diffusing with you. Um, they can play with you know lavender and lemon and the peppermint in the diffuser while they're visiting but also they can just take this home with them and play with it at home. And you can also give them a couple samples of the doTERRA toothpaste which is really nice to give. You can give them some little samples and this has uh, peppermint, lavender, and melaleuca. You can also give them a bar of soap to use. This is the castle soap. It's unscented so that's really nice. No fragrance in there. Um, if you're eating out at a lot of restaurants or going to a lot of parties while they're visiting, uh, yeah, Hilary LeMay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the digest tabs, and these are great to give in a, uh, a gift basket in the guest room so someone doesn't have to ask you, you know, my belly hurts, do you have anything for that? Um, if you have a woman staying or like an aunt or a sister or a friend, um, then you can add these makeup remover pads. You can also give them a couple samples of deep blue rub. These are great to share. Um, you can give them some bath salts and let them pick what oils from the family physician kit that they want to add in there. If you're going to be doing the beach or the pool, you can give them the after sun spray that we made the other day. You can share with them some of the breathe drops. Um, if they have any seasonal allergies, but you get the idea, you know, this is a little of the glass cleaner that we made if they have sunglasses or anything, um, and just some bath towels for them to feel comfortable, and I think that's probably everything in here, but it's just a great idea, oh yeah, and a little oil guide, so that they can take this home with them and learn about all the essential oils that they got to play with at your house. But again, having an extra family physician kit or an aroma touch kit or something like that in your house, um, ready to share with company, is a great way to share. And um, you know, it's just really fun facilitating a great comfortable home. So we made another cleaning supply to add to our list of non-toxic cleaners with the toilet fizzies. And those were really easy. All we did was combine citric acid and baking soda and a little bit of water and our favorite essential oils. I use lemon and eucalyptus. And you just let these diffuse, uh, you let these dissolve in your toilet bowl for about 10 to 15 minutes once they've diffused and they will uh, diffuse. I keep saying diffuse. Once they've dissolved, they will be able to eat away at that calcium deposits and any stains and bacteria that you might have in your toilet bowl. And um, then you can have a really nice clean bathroom for them to use. And then we made our DIY diffuser bar where we combined our favorite oils into ready to go dropper bottles so they don't have to worry about blending bottles and messing things up or not feeling comfortable about it and so they've got a blend for morning for noon and for nighttime and if they don't like those blends that you've pre-blended you can do whatever are your favorites these are just my suggestions of things that we love in our home but feel free to do this for whatever works for you. Um, and they can play around with the essential oils that you get in your uh, family physician kit or if you have the emotional kit would be great to share in the guest room as well. And then um, lastly, we did our mints and these are just great to leave in the gift, gift basket that you're making or in the bed, on the bed or on the ledge or whatever, but these are really fun. I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> um, and it makes a ton. The gum paste like makes hundreds of these and they're just really cute. They're in little heart shapes and they taste like Altoids. Isn't that cute? Yeah, mm. tastes like a Red Hot, 
really good. And you could do this with orange or peppermint or spearmint, anything you really like. Um, this is just really fun. Have fun with it. Let your kids play around with it. You can do any shapes you want. You can just do it free form and just, you know, pinch off little bites and um, dry those. But you definitely want to dry them for about 48 hours so they're nice and ready to go. So, yeah, and you know, other recipes and things you can do with essential oils to help your guests feel comfortable is things like making the challah French toast that we made on Periscope a couple months ago, a spiced yogurt and granola parfait where you make some granola and you add some uh, cinnamon bark essential oil or cassia essential oil to that, and you can just layer your yogurt and fruit and granola and um, flavor your eggs with dill from the new summer sensational kit of oils that we all got this week. So. Just have fun and use your oils and show your company how fun and easy this essential life is if they are not familiar. And if they are, then plan on making some of these recipes while they're staying with you and while they're in town. I think you'll find that it's really fun to enjoy this essential life together with all your friends and family. So I hope this was helpful. And if you make any of these recipes while you have company this summer, I would love for you to tag me and show me what you made. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next time. Bye. It doesn't want to turn off. <laughs> Bye, guys.